So riding with a partial trigger gives you the ability to change your speed. And when you're surfing, that's essential because we ride our motor or on the battery power out to the waves and then we turn with the waves and then we have to adjust our finger a little bit slower, a little bit faster to catch up with the wave. And then when we let go of the trigger, all of a sudden, right here, we shift our weight on the back foot and now we're cruising on the wave, right? And so once you're done catching the wave, you have to be able to power back up steadily with the feathering of the trigger to get back on power, get back on foil, and turn back out to the next wave. And I be, might be running back up to the wave here really quickly, and then when I turn back onto the wave, I need to match my speed to the wave. And the only way to do that effectively is with the trigger control. So trigger control is super important to just about everything you do on the lift e-foil. Here's another wave. I'm going to turn towards it. I'm going to align with it. And I'm going to suddenly drop the trigger and shift my weight backwards. And now I'm off trigger. And now I just surf it. Right? I do a little pump in here. But if I'm out of energy, I can just trigger back, back up. And when I trigger back up, I move my feet forward. Let me saw my feet. If you look down at my feet, you'll see. Oh, I get to another wave here, though. Another wave. Turn right back to it. Let go of the trigger. Okay. You see my feet are further back on the board. But when I trigger back on, I move my feet forward in anticipation, and then my weight goes forward as soon as that propeller opens up. That's how we do it. Hope you can too.